Everyone in Millie and Molly's class was excited about next week's National Ride to School Day. Excellent, Millie. I like the helmet. Thanks, Miss Bly. That reminds me, class. Make sure you all wear your helmets on Monday. Everyone was drawing and painting bicycles. Everyone except for Molly. It's me and Tomcat walking. We like walking. Have a restful weekend, and on Monday, I'll see you all riding your bicycles for National Ride to School Day. Is it all right if I don't ride my bike to school on Monday, Miss Blythe? That's fine, Molly. You don't have to. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Miss Blythe, will I be the only one in the class not riding? I think you might be, dear. National Ride to School Day seems very popular. your place so we can ride together? Molly! Yeah, right. Molly, why did you tell Miss Blythe you wouldn't be riding to school on Monday? You've got a really good bike. I don't want to be the only one riding to school with training wheels on my bike. But your dad took your training wheels off in the summer holidays. Yes, and the first time I rode my bike without them, I fell off. But if you practice, I'll just fall off again. You've got the whole weekend to practice. Your dad can help. Dad and Mum are going away to a wedding. That's right. You're staying with me. So I can help you with your riding. The next day, Molly brought her bike to Millie's house when she came to stay for the weekend. Molly, you can start practicing riding straight away. What? Here? Yes. Where everyone can see me? What if someone from school sees me wobbling all over the place and falling off? So... We need to find somewhere we can practice, where it's just us. Hi, Mr Limpy. Hello, girls. What a lovely, shiny bike, Molly. Is it new? Um, no. I just haven't ridden it much. <sighs> I loved riding when I was your age. And when I got a bit older, I started training and competing in races. Did you ever win any races? Oh, a few. Actually... I was district champion. Hey, Mr. Limpy, could you come and talk to our class for National Ride to School Day? I'd love to. You know, it's a funny thing. I've never got out of the habit of my training days. Still get up at the crack of dawn. Mr. Limpy, have you got any advice to help me with bike riding? I'm not very good. <laughs> well, Molly, it helps if you sit on the bike and push the pedals with your feet. <laughs> to Farmer Hegarty's so Molly can practice. That's a good place to start. Have fun. But Molly, the most important thing is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself? How can that help me get better at bike riding? I don't know. Come on. Frustrated, the girls headed home. Molly was feeling desperate. Molly, you can borrow my scooter. It's not National Scoot to School Day. <sighs> Sorry, Molly. I wish I could help you work out what you were doing. Not quite right. It's hopeless. I'll never be ready for National Ride to School Day. The next day at dawn, Molly woke with a bright idea. <gasps> Millie, get dressed fast! Why? Where are we going? I 
I'd be delighted to be your cycling coach, Molly. You know, this is the best time of day for training, when the park is deserted. We knew you'd be up already. And I don't want anyone from school seeing me, in case they make fun of me. I understand. Now, I'll just get my binoculars. Binoculars? Hmm. Yes, I see the problem. Molly hasn't got herself properly balanced. Uh, 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 uh. Millie, could you be my training assistant? I'd love to. If you hold the back of Molly's bike seat, then she can stop worrying about falling over and get her balance. Molly! Can you feel what it's like to be properly balanced? Yes, I can. Do you think she's getting the hang of it? Yes, I think she is. So, this time, let go of Molly's bike seat just after she rides past that big tree. That's it, Molly. You're going well. Well done. You can do it. But I fell off again. Mr. Limpy, I can't do it. I'm hopeless. Of course you can, Molly. You just have to believe in yourself. <sighs> but because Molly didn't believe in herself, she was convinced that she would never be able to ride a bike to school or anywhere else. It's okay, Molly. We'll walk to school together tomorrow. No, that's not fair. You don't have to miss out on National Ride to School Day just because I can't ride to school. The next morning was National Ride to School Day. For everyone but Molly. It's okay, Millie. Don't wait for me. You ride ahead. But I'll be okay. Are you sure? Please, Millie. Okay, thanks. See you at school. But Mr. Limpy had something special for the girl who couldn't ride to school. Molly, I've something special for you. Hold out your hand. That's all that's left of my mighty bicycle, the Racing Lion. I rode it in my first big race, the National 100 Mile Road Race. And did you win? No one thought I could do it, not even my coach. But I knew I could. I believed in myself. And you won? Yes, I did, Molly. Now, I was thinking, maybe if you carry the Racing Lion badge, it'll give you courage, hmm? help you believe in yourself. So you think this lion has special powers? Why don't you try riding to school today and see? My bike is just next door at Millie's. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Millie! Wow! Molly! Great riding! And this is a photo of me winning the National 100 Mile Road Race in 1951. Oh. And all these trophies I won too. Oh. You know, riding bikes is a very healthy thing to do. And no nasty exhausts either. Well, what does everyone think of Mr. Limpy's wee talk, eh? Hooray! Thanks, Mr. Limpy! Thank you, Molly. And would you mind giving me back my lion badge? But if I give you back the lion, how will I be able to ride home? Mm -hmm. Hmm. It wasn't the badge that made you able to ride to school. It was you, believing in yourself. And I only believed in myself because I had the on. The lion gave me courage, just like it helped you win that road race. Huh? But that's from your...
your bike. The racing lion. Why are you putting it on your car? Molly, everything I told you about the National 100 Mile Road Race was true, except the part about the lion badge being from my bike. So, the lion hasn't got any special powers? As you can see, it's got nothing to do with riding bikes at all. So, this means I'll be able to ride my bike all by myself, without any help! Molly, you already did! So I did! Without training wheels, without Millie holding the seat, without special powers and the lion badge. Mm. <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! <laughs> All Molly needed to do was believe in herself.